Hi, I'm Nathan Wood and I'm answering your questions. Nathan, the first question is, how good does it feel to have come from the Welsh League to League Two? Yeah, obviously it's everything uh, you work hard towards uh, throughout your time in the Welsh Prem. Obviously they do um, Royal Sea versus England Sea Games, so you can kind of um, kind of see where you're at in terms of that. But no, it's, it is. It's honestly it's a dream come true to to play football league. Um, and yeah, hopefully I can I can hit the ground running. Do you think more players from the the Cymru Prem can sign for AFL clubs? Oh, definitely, definitely. I think um, I think I we owe that to. To the boys that have gone before us, your James Waits, your Priestleys, your, your Will Evans is. Um, they've set a really good foundation that the league is good enough, and, and there are boys in the in the Welsh Prem that can go on, um, that can go on and play football league football. And I know um, boys at Panabon, boys throughout the league, young lads that are more than more than capable to, to go and play football league football. What was your biggest football in inspiration whilst growing up? Oh, that's a good question. Um, in terms of player, player, yeah. Um, obviously, I'm a United fan, so I grew up with Rooney, and just I think he is the most completed footballer I think I've seen in terms of he can just do everything. So probably I'd say Rooney. How does it feel to be back at County? Yeah, really good. Um, like I said several times before, it's it's a club that I grew up supporting. It's a group I I used to represent as a youngster. So for me to do that um, as a senior and, and hopefully go on to do really good things for the club um, is, is hopefully it's a really good feeling so but what's your favorite goal of your career so far oh that's a good question um, i think the obvious answer would be the cardiff met goal but i'm going to go Carnarvon, my first goal in the welsh prem what do you want to achieve with the club this season i think winning as many games as we can i think um, Taking every game as it comes and see where we are. If we if we take it game by game and we win every game that, that we can, um, at the end of the season the table doesn't lie. So um, win as many football games as we can. Now the next question is: Who are you most excited to play against next season? I think Wrexham obviously is the is the obvious answer. Um, it's their first season in the league uh, for a long time, and it's a Welsh derby within within football league uh, within League Two. Uh, so yeah, so I'd probably see Wrexham. What's your favourite footballing memory? I guess let's split that into two, to, into two parts, as a fan and also as a player as well. As a fan, um, oh, it's got to be Wales semi-final year of 2016. I think I was, I was in the fan zone and uh, down Rodney Parade actually. Um, so that's a really good memory and watching your country do well in a big tournament that was a little bit unexpected uh, is, 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 a, is a pretty good thing. As a player, I think, ask me in a couple of months and it might be a bit different, but um, probably getting to Europe with Pennebon was a big thing from where the club came from. Um, obviously, four years ago, they were Welsh League um, Division 1 and then in four seasons, they were, they were playing Europe. So um, to do that with them and, and to go through that process was, was special. Um, and I wish them all the best for that as well. Your ambitions and goals for the season uh, and what are you mainly convinced what mainly convinced you to return to Newport? I think Newport, obviously, I've got a reputation, um, a really good reputation of giving boys um, from the Welsh League a chance. Like I said before, Priestley's done really well for them. Um, Wales gone and done really well, and, and James has, has obviously done the same. So that obviously, to know that they give um, players from the Welsh League a, a chance and they believe in them is obviously, it gives me an element of confidence as well that I can go on and, and do what they've done. So. That's one you put for me, and obviously, it, it, it also it's a club that I support and grew up watching, so it was a no-brainer really on that front. And what part of the city do you originally come from? Rochester. So I went to Baselick School, um, went to Rochester Primary School, and then played for Rochester Rangers as well. So um, yeah, Rochester boy. And and who was the first football club you ever played for? Rochester Rangers. Yeah. <laughs> What's it like playing for your boyhood club? Um, I haven't actually had the chance yet uh, at senior level anyway, so um, hopefully in a couple of more weeks I can answer that question, but I'm really excited. Um, like I said, I know the fans, I know I know how passionate they are and just how they get behind their own, their academy graduates and, and how passionate they are about the players and, and doing well and winning is obviously something that I want to be a part of and I'm looking forward to that. What's Rodney Parade like for you? I managed to get down quite a lot actually last season. Um, it's, it's, it's really good, isn't it? The fans are close to the pitch. Um, 
I think the atmosphere is always brilliant. You've got a quite a good split diverse between like quiet fans and loud fans and and yeah, for sure it's somewhere that I, I, I can't wait to play and can't wait to play there regularly at home. Um, what's going to be your your celebration when you score your first goal for the club? I haven't even thought about that. I've got to get there first. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll, we'll play that one by year, I think. <laughs> the Tinty and the Bucket Hats are, are a band um, associated with the club. And they've asked a question, what song do you want us to make for you? Oh, wow. Um, I'll leave that one to them, I think. I'm yeah. not very musically gifted, so um, I'll trust their, trust their um, interpretation on that one. <laughs> do you think playing with ex-teammates like James Waite will help you transition into the squad? Oh, definitely. Yeah, I think James outside of, of football is a really, really good lad and a really good friend of mine. Um, we got on really well at Pennebon and I think getting on with your, with your players um, is important and yeah, he's a really, really good lad and, and will no doubt make me, make me feel really settled in early doors. What's the most valuable thing you've learned from football? Most valuable thing? Um, I think one thing I learned about obviously my story is a little bit different to most. Um, getting into the game later is a bit of a roller coaster. I'd say you probably don't get too high with the highs and don't get too low with the lows. I think you've got to try and find a middle ground somewhere because the highs don't last forever and the lows don't last forever. Um, so to find like some sort of longevity in a game, I think um, first and foremost making sure you enjoy it, and then secondly just just keep just keep keep a middle ground. Probably is probably my my biggest one. Does pineapple belong on pizza? I think I'm going to get a bit of stick for this, but I think it does, yeah. <laughs> uh, what's your favourite movie? My favorite, again, I, I don't think I've got the attention span to sit long enough for more than an hour, so films are not really my, my forte, but um, I'm a big boxing fan, so I'm going to say Creed. Um, yeah, say Creed. I've been Nathan Wood. Thank you for your questions. Look forward to seeing you at Rodney Bray. Can't wait to get going.